Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. I want to thank all of you guys on New Tech as well as here on YouTube for your guys' continued support. We start things off from trending politics. Hate speech bill passes through Michigan House. The Democrat-controlled Michigan House passed legislation on Tuesday that would give prosecutors power to prosecute hate speech and other bias-related crimes. Now notice, ladies and gentlemen, Democrat-controlled House. Of course, this has always been the social justice ideology, philosophy, and worldview of the left because in very simple terms, anything the left finds offensive to them is Hate speech. So this is them being able to weaponize language to prop up and leverage their ideology, their philosophy, and worldview onto others. The proposed legislation, House Bill 4474, would expand Michigan's 1988 ethnic intimidation law to give prosecutors more power to prosecute perceived hate crimes and acts of vandalism. Perceived. Remember when it was Vijaya Gotti from Twitter? When they came to her and said that they couldn't find anything on Donald Trump that would substantiate the reasoning for them to suspend him from Twitter. But she said, well, it could be a perceived threat. Perceived. That is completely nebulous. Anyone can, per can perceive any. You're driving down the road and someone cuts you off. You're offended. Right? Road rage. One amendment would consider it a hate crime if an individual is found to have caused severe mental anguish to another person. What do, you, what do you suppose Donald Trump is going through when they're constantly attacking him? When you have the establishment uniparty, our institutions of law, our government going after a man because they don't want him to be in power. Think about that. You have a current president right now politically persecuting his rival. Intimidation and harassment is defined as willful courses of conduct involving repeated or continuing harassment of another individual that would cause a reasonable individual to feel terrorized, frightened, intimidated, threatened, harassed, or molested under the amendment. We're talking about a reasonable individual? A reasonable individual would realize and make distinctions between who to ignore because they said something that hurt your feelings. It's absolutely astounding to think that we're at this level. Now, granted, we have laws against harassment. We have laws against stalking and these sorts of things. But again, I always go back to Donald Trump. Imagine being under the pressure that Donald Trump is under when you have the full weight of the current government going after you. On Tuesday, the bill passed its first hurdle when it passed in the Michigan House by a vote 59 to 50. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, is it is of no surprise. Have you ever noticed when it comes to the Democrats, they're always attacking our Constitution. They're either going after the Second Amendment or they're going after the First Amendment, the 14th. There are half a dozen. Just It's just astounding to me that the Democrats continue to attack our Constitution. And here we have Rep. Noah Arbit. We did it. Both of my hate hate crime bills passed the house so basically the leftist offense bill being offended by left now ladies and gentlemen let me let me illustrate how absurd this is remember we covered this on the channel a couple years ago uh back in uh when was this 2019 mother 38 is arrested in front of her children and locked in a cell for seven hours after calling a transgender woman a man on twitter ladies and gentlemen sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me. Now, now, granted, things people say can be hurtful. They can be harmful. But you avoid those people. And unless they're creating like a major issue, say stalking and, and, and genuine harassment, then it's totally understandable to get law enforcement involved, especially if it's inciting and so forth. But, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, simply going, going online and, and just being a troll, which many people like to do online, I mean, this woman essentially gets arrested. And then, of course, we have, of all things to be arrested by here from the Summit News video, and we covered this as well, British police arrest a man for sharing a meme on Facebook. A meme, ladies and gentlemen. Someone's feelings were hurt, and so someone had to be arrested for it. Someone has been caused anxiety. 
based on your social media. Man, can you imagine? Do you ever experience anxiety when you get your bills or when certain things happen in your life? Do you, do you ever experience anxiety from uh, any any number of things going on around you in everyday life that you would like to be addressed, I'm sure? And uh, here we have the criminal code here in Canada. Public incitement of hatred. Public incitement of hatred. Let them, everyone who... By communicating statements in any public place incites hatred against any identifiable group where such incitement is likely to lead to a breach of the peace is guilty of. That is absolutely incredible to me, ladies and gentlemen. That we're living in such a hypersensitive environment. I, I'm at, I mean, I could probably point out half a dozen things that I get from my videos of people saying hateful things towards me or... or mean things towards me or, or any of those sorts. and i just realized it's just it's just part of the flow it's just part of what happens people are people people are going to say things people are going to do things and it's like i've always told people people are people and this this perceived bias these uh, unfortunately a lot of racism and all these things have been going on since human beings have been on this planet i mean it's simply it's simply not going to be solved by arresting people because they hurt someone else's feelings. It just, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Now, granted, many of these laws, like any law, it's all a matter of how it's enforced, right? Because we see the selective enforcement of our laws by the FBI right now against Donald Trump and other individuals. And perhaps even in daily life, we see these selective arrests or selective enforcement from time to time. But ladies and gentlemen, the idea that this would be in the United States of America... You know, the, the last bastion of freedom, as Ronald Reagan would say. And here we have someone excited at the idea of being able to arrest someone if you hurt someone else's feelings. And this is typically what I call the genuine definition of social justice, where the left is able to weaponize their ideology, philosophy, and worldview if they are hurt, if they are upset, if they are disappointed by something someone else says. And you know, you know, ever notice how it's always what someone else says, not what they say. Not what the Democrats say, not what the leftists say. That's perfectly fine because when they're in control, they have the control. They can do the enforcement. They can influence. They can use their authoritative power. It's absolutely amazing. And so, of course, they, they give themselves all this power when they're in government. And then when that government changes over, say, to a republican control House or Senate and presidency, then all of a sudden they panic. Why do you think they're panicking right now over Donald Trump? Because if he gets in office and starts doing what they do, oh boy, their entire world will be completely dismantled. But ladies and gentlemen, you let me know down in the comments what you think about this and what experiences you may have had in situations where you may have had to face uh, restraining orders or, or other things uh, to protect yourself, which would be a legitimate cause for getting law enforcement involved. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Is it absurd or what that we're seeing this here in the United States? And that's what I had for you guys this Friday. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for the Friday Vlog this week. Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, and the comments. And, of course, below this video, if you are a Prime member or use Amazon often, I have links below this that you can use as a landing page to place your orders or peruse what I have down below. But certainly, if you watch Prime, take advantage of that because it does help out the channel. And all of you here on YouTube, that will be the channel icon appearing there on the screen that you can click on, as well as to click that to subscribe and select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys right there behind the Galaxy Phone camera next week.